And in here, you'll find various groups and they work on a lot of the equipment from incubators to uh, patient monitoring, infusion pumps. If you think about this in, in the way of an auto mechanic, you kind of have all of these guys who know how to fix things, but then they specialize further. The biomedical group oversees about 60,000 medical devices. So they have a tremendous responsibility in terms of the volume of equipment. Anytime we have a problem, we don't want to be delaying patient care. So it becomes a priority for anything on the imaging side to be brought back to service as quickly as possible. training on the VCT, which is the model just prior to this, which we still have about half of our fleet is in the VCT line. Yeah, this is going to be a thermal thing because you don't want to grab this. Because We're in the classroom today. You see these are our, our four monitors or student training stations. We had an opportunity to see this at the Amy conference in Tampa, Florida this year. I was really taken by their push towards technical training that we haven't seen from anybody else. So our simulation technology we leverage a 55 inch touchscreen monitor and it really allows the individual to uh, use their hands. The simulation has been used you know, in the aviation industry, in the military. A lot of times it's used from a productivity standpoint or from a scarcity standpoint. One of the really cool things that the simulator was able to do is I have three of my staff that's able to be trained simultaneously without having to get them all onto an airplane, put them up into a hotel. And it enables us to bring a CT lab to a conference room. Okay. So now it's rotated 180. Yep. Once you, you rotated the gantry enough. They're able to go in on a one-to-one -one basis, work with the simulation and practice and learn how to do the corrective maintenance and plan maintenance procedures and tasks. CT is a busy department and when they have folks that need to be diverted to other areas there is a clear implication from patient satisfaction, patient safety, all the way down to how the bills get paid. These being interactive you can actually see the components and then you have a better understanding uh, before you go to the facility. Okay. Like you were saying earlier you have to actually click the diamond. Yeah. When you, we look at the younger guys that we we've brought in, they certainly have more of the gaming background than some of our senior level guys. So I think it bodes well with both camps. This is in guided um, mode, so you can see. It keeps them safe because we're not producing radiation or scanning a real patient. Two fingers swipe up on an angle. In this environment, I can't break it. That's a thought that's kind of alleviated from my concerns. Well, you don't have to worry about making a quarter million dollar mistake. <laughs> This clearly puts itself into a category of an interactive experience versus looking at something from a PowerPoint or trying to read it from a book. Everybody did a great job there. You, uh, you all passed. Duke's tendency is to be uh, always on the cutting edge of the technology. The clinical engineering team here is certainly a part of saving lives and making a difference. <laughs>